What's up everybody, I'm Hoops and Hip Hop. So a little while ago, I put up a video on the top five Pokemon not designed by Ken Sugimori. It was a really interesting video that showed how some of the best Pokemon out there were not actually designed by Pokemon's lead artist. However, when people think of Pokemon not designed by Sugimori, they tend to put all of the worst Pokemon out there into this category, and well, they're not entirely wrong. Game Freak have added several new Pokemon designers to their ranks over the years, and while they do a great job as we saw in the last video, it definitely seems like there's some room for improvement as well. So in this video, we're going to be counting down the top five worst Pokemon not designed by Ken Sugimori. Now, I want to get this out here quick and say that I don't necessarily dislike all of these Pokemon, they're just simply the worst ones that fit into this particular category, in my own opinion, of course. So with all of the formalities and introductions out of the way, let's get into the video. Sitting at the number 5 position on this list is Magmortar. Designed by Hironobu Yoshida, this is the evolution to Magmar that was introduced in Generation 4. Now if you were a kid back in the 90s, you probably imagined evolutions for all kinds of Pokemon, and Magmar was one that I know I, and many other people, imagined an evolution for. However, with these sort of expectations in place, it kind of worked against Magmortar when it was introduced, because it just didn't seem to be as cool as people were wanting. I mean, Magmar, as beloved as it is, does kind of have a bit of a duck face, so it's not like Magmortar had the best assets to work with. However, it has the feel of a goofy looking Pokemon that's trying to be all intense and cool, and I think that might be what rubs people the wrong way. Like I mentioned in the intro, Magmortar is not a Pokemon I dislike by any means, but it disappointed a lot of people, and that's what earned it a spot on the list. At number 4 are some of the most infamously hated Pokemon of all time, the Elemental Monkey Trio. This was briefly mentioned in the last Top 5 Sugimori video, but all three Elemental Monkeys and their evolutions were designed by Takao Uno, ironically the same guy who designed Garchomp. Now, admittedly, I don't dislike these guys nearly as much as other people, but I can see why they would be disliked. These Pokemon definitely give off that vibe of Game Freak isn't trying anymore that so many people have accused Gen 5 of doing. Now, I wouldn't say they're grotesquely ugly or anything, but a good few of them give off a derpy vibe, and not the good kind of derpy. I definitely speak for the community as a whole when I say that these are some of the more worst Pokemon in existence, and as such they are easily some of the worst non-Sugimori Pokemon. Number 3 is a Pokemon I have already publicly showed my distaste for, and that's Stunfisk. This Pokemon was designed by Mana eBay, and in order to avoid repeating myself for too long, we'll just go ahead and hit the major points here. Stunfisk's first offense is that it's a fish yet not a water type, followed by it being one of the most derpy things to ever exist, like ever. Now, I'd say its derpiness is a little more redeemable than the monkeys, but I can't help but think, come on man, every time I see it. Another thing that Stunfisk has going against it is that it's legitimately ugly. Its color scheme is unappealing, it's as flat as a pancake, and of all things, its mouth faces upward, and that just can't be natural. I know it is based on an animal of a similar look, but compared to all the other Pokemon out there, it just doesn't stack up. And when it comes to Pokemon not designed by Sugimori, well, obviously there isn't much worse. The runner-up on this list is someone who I think is one of the worst non-Sugimori Pokemon, obviously, for reasons much different than the other Pokemon on this list, and that's Herdier. Now I know this is my third Gen 5 Pokemon in a row, and I know I'm gonna get some flack for that, but like I said, I'm not saying Gen 5 is bad. I like Gen 5, but I do have a legitimate beef with Herdier. Like I said, this is different than the other Pokemon. I don't think Herdier is derpy or ugly or anything like that. I think Herdier is uncreative, and for me that is a huge issue. Herdier was also designed by Mana eBay and is based on the Yorkshire Terrier, or Yorkshire for you British folk. And if you take a look at a picture of the Yorkshire Terrier, you might notice that it looks exactly the same as Herdier, as if they literally just drew a Yorkshire Terrier in the Pokemon art style and called it good. 
Now, we've obviously had several dog Pokemon before, and some even look like the dog that they're based on, but the one thing that basically every dog Pokemon has but Herdier is some sense of originality in its design that separates it from its inspiration and establishes it as an entirely separate creature. And frankly, that's what makes a Pokemon a Pokemon, and with Herdier, you just don't get that. I definitely prefer ugly Pokemon over uncreative ones, because even if a Pokemon is ugly, at least the artist took an artistic choice with the design, and with an uncreative Pokemon like Herdier, the effort to make that choice was never made in the first place, and that's almost unforgivable for me. And the number one worst Pokemon on this particular list is none other than Aromatisse. Designed by Saya Saruta, Aromatisse makes this list because, well, it's really, really ugly. Now hold up, you might be saying. You just said on the last entry you prefer ugly Pokemon over uncreative ones, so why is Aromatisse number one instead of Herdier? Well, good on you for paying attention, because I did say that, but Aromatisse is an exception. Why? Because Aromatisse takes a really good, really cute looking Pokemon in Spritzy and turns it into a bad and ugly Pokemon, and that frankly is the worst offense of all. In my opinion, Spritzy is such a well-designed Pokemon, but you don't even hear anyone talking about it anymore because Aromatisse and her ugliness completely overshadow it. You might like Aromatisse, and that's completely fine, but I would say that a large chunk of the community doesn't like Aromatisse because of its appearance, and for that large chunk of people, a great Pokemon in Spritzy is completely ruined. Now, it's one thing for a Pokemon to just be bad in and of itself, but when its bad quality starts to bring good Pokemon around it down to its level and cause them to be underappreciated, that's where I draw the line. And that's why Aromatisse, in my mind, is the worst Pokemon not designed by Ken Sugimori. And there we have it guys, these two top fives were some of my most interesting ones for sure, because they also include a lot of really interesting facts and trivia as well. So if you haven't checked out the other video, be sure to do so by clicking the i card at the top right corner of the screen, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and let me know what you thought of the list, and if you like or dislike any of the Pokemon mentioned. As always, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Pokemon content every week, and with all of that being said, I will be back with another video soon, so until then, as always, I will smell you guys later.